what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Zenfone Max Pro M1 and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you some tweaks of the Android Pi ROM of the Zenfone Max Pro M1 well a lot of you guys have been asking me and have been commenting on that video which I did previously if you haven't watched it here is a card of that Android Pi video on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 well again a lot of you guys have been saying that this ROM isn't good the update is bad and stuff well I would say my personal opinion would be it isn't it isn't at all well the update is actually pretty good but it does look pretty weird and bad for like some stuff that like asus could not or like did not do anything with the dpi and stuff so the ui looks a little bit weird and big and like a lot of poor user space everywhere so as you can see on the quick settings panel i would say the most poor user space has happened and over here as you can see it takes almost this much of space and too much white borders over here on the quick settings panel and if you expand it just notice the space over here between the quick toggles the space is too much and this white area over here looks pretty weird and if you even if you go into the settings and if you go into the display settings and in like decrease the display size it, it will look a lot weird over here as you can see it looks a lot smaller but the still the white part over here is a lot big over here as you can see so i'm just like using it by default and asus really should give an update for this like poor user space i would say and let me just go into the about section i mean the system over here and let me show you what are the tweaks you can do well i'm using the android pie pill button over here as you can see so how do you actually get it so first of all you go to the system over here and just go into the gestures and swipe up home or button over here by default it will stay disabled like this you will see that the stock android 3 buttons the back home and menu button is there so if you want to use the android pie pill button you have to just enable this option after you do that this will look like this and you can just use this pill button and if you swipe up like once it will get you into the recent panel and if you swipe all the way up it will get you into the app drawer so that is how it is for the android pie a lot of you guys have been commenting that split screen has been removed and stuff like that well it isn't it isn't at all if you have watched any kind of android pie tutorial or like any kind of android pie hands-on review you would see that there are like changes over here i'll recommend you guys if you want to see any kind of new android updates even for android pie q etc just watch team scofield there is a youtuber i'll link his channel over here if i can or i'll link it below in the description that guy really does amazing job whenever a new android update gets released i really liked his videos about the android updates so just watch them it will be a lot helpful for you guys so right now let me quickly show you the split screen option over here if you just open chrome over here as you can see as i, as I just did and if you open youtube let me just go home over here and let's open chrome and youtube once again so that you can see that it's in memory right now just go to your recent panel so first of all you have went like when you have went into the recent panel just click on the icon over here just tap on it you will see this kind of option it will show up as app info and split screen so there you have your split screen just, just tap on the split screen option over here and just tap on any icon or any app over here you have opened right now you do have split screen and you can use it like a little bit bigger i think no so this is again because of the dpi over here of the screen but you are stuck with this kind of like dpi over here but you can use split screen over here as you can see i'm using chrome on top and over here i have youtube opened so this is how you can use split screen or if you just like want to go back with one single app just pull it down or pull it up like this it will go with the single app so that is pretty much it that is what i wanted to show you guys about this asus zenfone max pro m1 but i don't know when they will like provide a new update for this like phone again but yeah it is good that actually like asus provided this android pi update for like free over here like a lot of phones does not even get android updates at all but asus did provide one and i am pretty happy with it i would say let me know in the comments what do you guys feel again this is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up if you like it share this video out with your friends if you are enjoying these kind of videos over here on this channel subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and Dick signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now